Welcome back to the channel. On this one here, got a no AC call and the float switch was full of water and that's due to the drain not having a trap. These are negative pressure air handlers and you have to have a trap on here. Otherwise, while the unit's running, you're gonna draw air in through the condensate drain. So the pan would just fill, uh, fill up with water and eventually overflow into the uh, overflow switch and then shut the outdoor condenser off. So got the unit off. We're going to remove this uh, 90 in piece of pipe and we're going to add a trap. Okay, we removed that piece and I'm sure this isn't glued in as well. Yep. Okay, I cut this up a little further, got the coupling, slide this up on, and it's going to go above the pipe, and then we'll raise the rest of the drain that was here, we'll put a coupling over here, and we'll be able to tie into the drain. So let's get this all prepped up and glued. At the other end. Looks like we got some flow here going downhill, that's what you want. And we'll put a strap with a screw on the side here. Looks like that's going to be a good spot right there. So we'll get that coupling glued up here and we should be good to go and test it out. Okay, I'm actually gonna cut this back some and add another coupling over here just because it's not flush against the wall if I bring this in to the coupling. So got a little piece here cut and glued. Insert that. Okay, now we'll get our rest of our drain here, get it lined up where it's going to go, and then we'll cut. Cut it right there. This glue is about spent. It's getting slimy. We'll let that set up here for a few minutes and then we'll test it out. Okay, let's test it out. And we gotta prime the trap. Anytime you install a new trap, you want to make sure you prime it, which means you want to have water in it so it doesn't draw the air in through it. So get ready to dump. We've got a bottle of water here. We'll dump that down there and test it out.
Okay, looks like we're good to go. No leaks. All right. Okay, on this one here, we got a shower head that the whole inside came out, which right here it is. They had it sitting on the sink. Just broke out of there, I guess. First time I've had that happen. So we'll just get the old shower head off and throw on a new one. Try to get some of this old Teflon tape out of here. Okay, we'll wrap the shower arm with some new Teflon tape and you want to wrap it around clockwise. Okay, got our new shower head. And you want to be careful you don't mark up the finish here. Should use a jaw that's smooth or has a protector on it. I just don't have that with me. So we're just gonna be extra careful here. Okay, just snug it up good. And then we'll test it out. Make sure we got no leaks. All right, this one's good to go. All right, we got a light out here on this front of the garage. So we just got two screws, one there and one right there. All right, there's our new bulb. Now we'll wipe the bugs out of there. Tighten this up and on to the next one.